upstate man made a discovery that will forever change our history books. And he's not done yet. Bobby Lori here now with more. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Allie and James. A professor at Harrisburg University and a mid-state native discovered a new species of turtle not known to history before. So what happens now and what can we learn from this? I spoke to the professor to find out. Dr. Stephen Jasinski, a professor at Harrisburg University, made the discovery. One of the biggest key features that really suggests that this is something distinct that's easy to see are these two horn-like projections on the anterior front part of the shell right around where the neck would be. And these are far larger and more distinct than what we see with any of this type of turtle today. So it automatically suggests that this is clearly something new. But before his discovery could be official, Dr. Jasinski had to convince other scientists that this was something new and never before seen. I start writing it up. Then I go through the publishing process of once I have a paper, I send it to a journal. They send it to other scientists to review. And if they agree with me, eventually that paper can finally come out and then make it official. The other scientists agreed and the horned painted turtle will now forever be in our history books. Now going forward, what can we learn from this turtle that lived over 5 million years ago? That climate change is very, very important to understand because of the impacts it has on, on life in general. And it has differing impacts depending on what we look at, right? So these turtles potentially went extinct at least partially, if not completely due to climate change. Dr. Jasinski says although naming a new species of turtle is great and a career highlight, there are more important steps ahead. Or determining what it tells us about the larger scale of things potentially is more important to get an understanding of how it, what it tells us about evolution, about life through time, um, and how it fits into those larger pictures. Also, what it might tell us both about the world today and about moving forward is also a very important aspect. His discovery is also important to the Harrisburg University community. Is it helps show students other possibilities and it gives them other things to interest them and look into. I oftentimes think that even if there's no student who wants to directly go into the field of research I'm working in or anything like that, if it at least expands their interests or gets them thinking about things a little bit more distinctly and a little bit more depth, I think that's worth it right there. Dr. Jasinski told me that he currently has roughly 12, pro 12 other projects in the review process, both pertaining to and not pertaining to turtles, so he's not done finding and naming species that we've never seen before. Okay, so was this, was this a local discovery or how was this discovery made? So he found the bones while he was studying in Tennessee. It was actually a hill that was supposed to be leveled for a road construction project, and while they were in the process of leveling it, the construction crew found the bones called in local students that were there studying. They uncovered the bones and then he, that's when he started to realize that mm. this was something that we hadn't seen before. Wow, and, and, yeah. and tell us the name of it again. So it is the pa Horned Painted Turtle. The Horned there is painted a turtle. more scientific name that I wouldn't even dare try to pronounce. <laughs> but we have that on our website. But yes, but that's basically it. So it has these two horns right up like where the neck would be yeah. that we've never seen before. So wow. Wild. I know. All right. It took and, like and this local man did yeah, this. He, that, he did, yeah. That, and it took incredible. like five to seven years before the paper was published. So he's known about this for a while, but right. we're just learning about this now. Secrets out now. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby.